We should exchange video tips. Cutting your food. Cutting your food can be a challenge when you can't see what's on your plate. You might end up with bites that are too big, bites that are falling off your fork, bites that are not completely cut, and end up having food falling all over. I'm going to show you a technique that will allow you not only to cut a small bite, but also have a sense of what's happening on your plate. You want to start out, first of all, by making sure you know what is where on your plate. It can be easy to do this by having one hand on the side of your plate as a point of reference, and then feeling around gently with your fork to get a sense of how big and what shape the food is that you wish to cut. It's easiest if you position it so that it's at six o'clock on the plate, close to you. If you're applying pressure with a knife and fork, you don't want to be on the far side of the plate where things might wobble. You want to keep the pressure on the plate closest to you at six o'clock. Start by looking for the edge of the food that's closest to you. Today we have a piece of fish. So I'm going to start by stabbing my plate and then sliding it towards the fish until I feel the fork contact it. It bumps into it. I want to stab the fish as close as possible to the edge to make sure that I get a nice small bite. If I'm just kind of stabbing around and hoping for the best, who knows how, how big of a bite I might get. So find the edge closest to you, drag the fork up on top and then stab it when you're at the very closest edge. Then position your knife so that it touches the back of your fork. If you can, make sure that the tip of the knife actually contacts the plate and then you slice in a semicircle, always having the knife rubbing against the back of the fork so that you cut around the fork. It's your landmark and that will give you a nice small bite. After you have severed it, you need to see if you can drag that bite away from the main piece. And lastly, to check that you have actually cut the bite, see if you can pass the knife once between the fork and the main piece of fish. And that is how you cut. Lastly, I recommend that you cut your bite and eat it rather than spending some time cutting multiple pieces of food and then eating it. If you cut a bite and eat it right away, you will have less food moving around on your plate. You'll have less to keep track of and it will be easier. We recommend that you encourage your group members to seek the services of a certified vision rehabilitation professional to learn these types of skills. If you have any questions about leading a low vision support group, please call 312-236-8569 or email us at info at second-sense.org.